Let me show you how to quickly debug Ionic apps and a new way that you've never seen before. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy and today I want to quickly talk about debugging Ionic and Capacitor apps because I noticed that many people still struggle to correctly debug their application in the different environments, web, native iOS, native Android, and I'm going to show you how to do this real quickly. So the first thing I always recommend is use the Capacitor live reload command, which comes with the Ionic CLI. So you can run this with Ionic cap run iOS or Android dash dash live reload dash dash external and usually in my cases I always had to supply a public host uh, with your local IP of your computer where you're running your application once you do this you will also get the benefit of the usual preview so here's an application I used great account everything seems to work and of course just want to quickly let you know you can open the debugging tools right here and then you're going to see your logs in the console so this is the browser debugging that all of us should definitely be aware of now with this command you are also running your app on a real device or actually you can select which device you run on once you run this command so in my case i also run this now on the ios simulator so i can prove this if I go to the side uh, and change something on the login page, let's call this test at the title, it immediately changes and then we go back. So we have live reload on a device. Now, how can I debug this application? You could go into Xcode, but that's usually not really helpful. So instead, I recommend you open up Safari and within Safari, uh, you're going to find at the top a menu develop and there you can find your device. And once you select it, you see this already turns blue. And now I have my console for that application right here. So if I put some reload here, I get all the logs from my application with Safari remote debugging. This is completely the same if I run my application on an iOS device. Uh, no difference. You can plug in your device and then from Safari develop, select your application. Just make sure that remote debugging is in, uh, available or enabled. I think you have to do this under settings, Safari, advanced, JavaScript or web inspector on your iOS device. Now let's quickly also talk about Android. So I'm also running the application here on my Android device. Uh, again, the test, is this the application? Yes, it is. And by the way, yes, I do have live reload on web, on iOS and on Android. Thanks for turning on exactly in this thing. Um, right here side by side because you can run the live reload command once for ios and then you can kill it and then you can run it for android and then both applications will yours uh, use your local server now how do you remote debug your android application show you this real quickly you can use chrome and you simply go to chrome slash slash inspect and on that device it should show your our remote browser right here so right now this is a pixel 3a I'm going to hit inspect and once again I get my debugging view I can hit reload it would reload the application and I got the same tools available that we already had in the browser now this is called remote debugging and you should certainly know about this because this will help you to debug your application on iOS and Android native devices once you run your application if you enjoy tips and tutorials like this, you will love what I've created inside the Ionic Academy. The Ionic Academy is the best place to learn Ionic fast with practical courses ranging from UI development to connecting to APIs or using services like Firebase. On top of that, you get support in our private Discord server, you get a weekly email about all the things going on in the Ionic ecosystem, so join today at ionicacademy.com. On top of that, there's a cool thing that you can do with the Ionic Visual Studio Code extension. So you can search for Ionic in Visual Studio Code under extensions and you're going to see this extension right here and with this extension what we can do is we get this new element uh, by the way that extension is pretty cool I had a video about it before you can run all the commands you can even migrate to capacitor 5 you can change settings of your project and all those cool things however what I really want to do is I want to debug my application because once I run this Ionic will bring up a new window of my application somewhere uh, here it is so this is now a tiny different port and what happens is uh, Chrome, no, Visual Studio Code got this yellow debugging area and I can go into that debugging mode. Uh, sorry about that. And let's see, on my login page, I will simply add something uh, when I click on login. So here's a breakpoint I've set. Let's try. I'm going into login and boom, immediately I'm in that breakpoint. So 
I'm personally not a huge fan of using breakpoints and I don't know, I never really got used to the concept, but it's definitely great. Um, you get access to all the data right here and it's definitely a lot better than just using console locks. You can step through the code, uh, you can get command, you can use the different breakpoints, enable them or disable them and debugging breakpoint is usually better than what I do with a poor man's logging of console log. Um, so this is easily possible with the Ionic Visual Studio Code extension, giving you another way to debug your Ionic apps. All right, so finally, there's one more thing, and that is called Nexus. And this is probably something you haven't heard about before. Now, in the past, there was actually an Ionic development app, which was killed from the stores for some problems with Apple, I think. And I think Ionic is working on something new as they recently uh, released information about capacitor.nexusbrowser.com. It is called Nexus, so it's made a bit vague uh, in terms of what this does. It's basically just a web browser, but there's more to it. So let me show you what this is actually about. Here's my real iOS device. And I'm opening up, no, not that application, but the Nexus application. And within Nexus, you can type a URL and it will open up a browser. Like, I got galaxies.dev here, it would open galaxies. Like, it's a cool browser. I don't know how they got this through the app submission process on iOS, but anyway, the really cool thing happens once we use a uh, URL to my local host. So I copied this, actually the right uh, URL here with a port, into the application. It should actually pick it up automatically. It didn't for me, but not a big deal. So I copied and entered it here and see what happens now. I do have my Ionic application in here right now. Let's try again to change my header uh, test. And it appears in here as well. So what did just happen? We have a debugging application on our device that can automatically connect to our local instance of Ionic. This is pretty great because this is basically exactly what React Native and Expo is doing with the Expo Go app. And this is a really big thing in the uh, in React Native environment. So I'm pretty sure at some point we're going to run an Ionic Capacitor Live Reload command. We would get a QR code. We would scan the QR code with our Nexus browser and we would have the application deployed on our device, which means we don't have to interact with Android Studio or Xcode anymore, making this a super beginner friendly tool to debug and directly see your Ionic applications on a real device. It's still very early days for Nexus. I just found this on Twitter and used it with the, you actually don't have to use it with the Ionic Visual Studio extension. You can just run your live reload and then uh, open up the URL. But of course that would work as well. And I think Ionic actually wanted to have something like the Ionic dev app for Capacitor, but they couldn't get this past the iOS review process if I read the tweets correctly. So then they made this light version of Nexus to ship something quickly. So keep an eye on Nexus. I think this is going to be interesting. Give it a try. You can already download it for iOS and Android and then connect it to your local uh, running Ionic instance. You can't really use remote debugging here anymore because this is basically a native application. And usually with native signed applications, you can't really access the web view anymore. Or I don't know if Ionic is doing something for this in the future. We will see, but definitely give it a try. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. And if you want more information about this, also check out my article that I released on the Ionic blog about debugging tips for your Ionic app, which covers even more about how to debug SQLite databases and how to access files from Ionic applications. So. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you got any other problems with debugging and I will hopefully catch you in the next video. So until then, happy coding, Simon. <laughs>